There's a universal fascination with what makes Hollywood tick. In my 18 years of running Hollywood Land Antiques, I've pretty much seen it all. Join me, Jeffrey Von Meyer, as I explore Hollywood, looking for unique, historic, and rare items to sell in my shop. You know who Charlie Chaplin is? How do you know who Charlie Chaplin is? I saw the movie of him. Oh, really? Is he your favorite old-time actor? Yep. You know what? What? Charlie Chaplin used to live in this neighborhood. What? Yeah. Can you act like Charlie Chaplin? Yeah. Get this ladder so you can see something. Climb up. So look at the picture. Somewhere in this picture, Al Hirschfeld put a secret message for his daughter. And his daughter's name was Nina. So somewhere in this picture is the word Nina. Can you find it? Yeah. Where do you see it? Do you see it anywhere? I'm not really looking at it. In this wheel? No, it's in that wheel. Where? You see On it? Side. What's it say? Nina, 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 yeah. There's always been a celebrity presence in Hollywood land. In fact, one of the best houses that we all take pride in is Moorcrest. Charlie lived there for a few years, but he loaned the house out to his friend Mary Astor, who lived there for many years. And Mary Astor was famous for working with another Hollywood land celebrity, Humphrey Bogart, who lived in a beautiful little Tudor cottage high up in the Hollywood Hills. Every day, thousands of people drive by Humphrey's old house, and no one has a clue that he once lived there. Morning. So we were in the other day. Oh, yeah, right. And my son has not stopped talking about... Um... Charlie Chaplin. Right, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he seemed like he was quite a fan. He is, actually. We watched all his movies, and he loves slapstick. So he has not stopped talking about this painting. Is it a painting or a print? I didn't notice it. It's a print. Um, the artist is Al Hirschfeld, who's uh -huh. renowned for doing sort of caricatures of Hollywood and Broadway uh, actors. Uh -huh. And this was a limited edition um, that they, I think only did 500, but they did two printer's proofs. And that's one of the two printer's proofs. So they go for about $1,600. So it's his birthday coming up. Uh -huh. And he has been doing slapsticks. So Buster Keaton, yeah, a... Charlie Chaplin is now overtaking Buster Keaton. Okay. Can you imagine? Well, he's so, a very cute kid. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, um, I mean, I know that it's um, the art, second artist proof and everything, but is, can you help me out here at all? Um, well, would you be willing to go size 14? 14, um, how about, um, how about a thousand? I mean, I would really, I, dying to help you out because I know it means a lot to your kid, but, um, if you do $1,200, we'll do it. You got me. $1,200. Okay. All right. Congratulations. It's really a very nice piece and it's going to hold its value and probably go up. Well. 